Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be making some homemade dog food. Normally what I do is um, I normally cook dog food for my dog. Just hand cook everything. That way I know all the, the ingredients are in there and everything. And I really don't know what's in the processed dog food. And to me, I, I think that it's kind of bad, just in my opinion. So I like to put my own stuff in there. And every once in a while, I'll give them kind of a milk bone with vitamins or something like that, too. But uh, the, I think the main thing is for him is, is uh, like protein. So, and then just the main vegetables and stuff like that. So basically what I have here is I already cooked chicken. We've already cooked most of this chicken here. And we're just giving him just the leftovers, which is perfectly fine. We just kind of peel off little bits and pieces and turn it into dog food it's a lot better than a processed dog food so and here we have some pink salmon wild cut i got this at uh like aldi's and the chicken here i got just at a regular supermarket they already pre-make it and everything and bake it it's like six seven eight bucks but here we have some pink salmon i already have like a little patty right here and this is some pretty good stuff too just cook that chop it up and mix it in with here while i'm cooking it and uh he, you know he, he really likes that it's got some omega-3 in it and the uh chicken's got protein and stuff like that and here we have some vegetables we have some sliced carrots green beans whole corn and sliced beets and what i do right here is i'll pour about half the can in and and cook each can about half of a can or so except for the corn i'll do a little less of the corn maybe like a quarter of a can or something like that everything else i'll save for next week or something like that so but basically the sliced carrots has a lot of vitamin a vitamin k potassium vitamin b6 and it's just loaded with uh with just all kinds of good stuff so the green beans you know, it has iron, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, vitamin K, and vitamin A. And then the whole corn has got fiber, vitamin C, magnesium, vitamin B, and very little fat. And then the sliced beets, the sliced beets are real good too, or just cutting up the beets or whatever. They're, they're real good for humans and for dogs, but especially for dogs, I, I think. He, he likes beets and... So I just mix them in with this food. But the beets has got a lot of potassium, iron, magnesium, folate, fiber, and vitamin C as well. And here we have uh, just some brown rice. And I'll just kind of mix it all in with there. We'll just throw in a cup and kind of go from there. So, and we're going to go ahead and show you how we cook his food. He's wandering around waiting for his food to be cooked he knows when it's time and that's what we're going to show you next let's put some water in a pan for the rice So what we do is we just throw everything in all together. That's the carrots there. That's with the rice. Mm -hmm. And then green beans. Green beans, okay. So we do about half of a can of that. Corn. And the corn, I'd say not 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 a half a can, but about a quarter. That's probably good, Dolores. And then the beets. All right, that should be pretty good. As y'all can see, we've got still some left for next week.
Okay, so everything's cooked right here. All the salmon and the uh, chicken and everything is all warmed up, ready to go. Cooked like it's supposed to be. And we will just mix it in with that right there. This, I mean, humans can eat. I would, I would not hesitate to eat this in a heartbeat. So, but that's, that's what I want to feed my dog, personally. You know, I want to feed my dog nothing but the best. He gives me nothing but love and affection. And I want him to live longer. And this is just a good, wholesome meal that he can have. And that I wouldn't feed my dog anything else that I wouldn't feed myself. So, and actually he eats better than us, to be honest with you. Because we have a lot of sugars and salts and other stuff like that. So... But it shows. It shows in his loyalty. It shows in his love. It shows in everything. So it's definitely worth it. Oh, okay, it's ready. Okay, I'm going to taste this rice because sometimes it looks done, but it's really not. So I'm just going to taste it to make sure because I don't like to give him hard rice, of course. It's done. That's the way I like okay, it. Okay, you heard her. It's done. Okay, so we poured all the water out, and a lot of that water had some salts and stuff in it for whenever they can the vegetables and stuff like that. So, and here's the chicken and the salmon. We're just going to pour that in. mix it up and we're pretty much done with that we'll give him a little sample to make sure that Rambo approves of it which I know he will he always does Okay, so here's the finished product. It's got everything in it that I mentioned. It's all cooked. We put a little extra water in the rice to cook all the salt out, pour all that out. And it's just a good wholesome meal. We'll see if he likes it here for the taste test. There you go, Rambo. He doesn't like to chew his food. He pretty much just gobbles everything up. And there is nothing that is going to go untouched, more than likely.
good boy, Rambo. Good boy, you like that? There you go, that's it. You ate it all. And that's how you make dog food.